For one other game in my time is uh, we played Sam Houston down there, and uh, I know we attempted 88 attempts, if I remember right, and I and, uh, can't remember the number of yardage we had, but uh, we lost the game. Uh, and so, you know, this was unusual to, you know, I didn't even really know that we'd uh, thrown or had at 827 yards, you know, of offense, but, uh, you know, to have thrown for 662 yards and 44 66. You know, four touchdowns, you know, well, and one interception. That's a pretty uh, awesome performance. What, uh, did you see anything leading up to the game that, that saw that your team would take a step back after an awesome win over a number two team in the nation and take a step back against the Prairie View? Was there anything leading up that had you thinking you guys maybe were overconfident, anything like that, Coach? Well, I think, you know, your, your question it would have to be one that for the team because uh, you're talking about the team. And so as a team, uh, I don't think that was the case. I mean, Brady didn't do it that way. You know, I mean, Brady came in and played a heck of a game. Gus played a heck of a game. I think, uh, you know, um, AT, you know, Aaron Thomas played really well, 242 yards, I think, in total. And, um, you know, uh, uh, Brooks had a really heck of a game. And uh, um, DJ had a heck of a game. Uh, I thought our offensive line, you know, really played well, uh, considering, you know, we had two guys that were – hurt and couldn't go and one of them was our center who you know we lost both our centers we had to have a center come a guy come in tackle and and play center and I thought he played tremendously well and so you know none of those guys I thought our defensive line you know played really well you know, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback at times and, and played well and so I mean you really you're really only talking about you know a small number of guys that uh, you know I think their their age is indicative of their performance you know they just didn't um, they didn't play in, in a game like that uh, as well as they could play. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they haven't played a lot. You know, where we're, 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 we're young, it shows. And, and uh, you know, we, we just got to continue every day to get better. I don't really think that, uh, you know, Nick Bruno played that way. He played tremendous as a punter. Uh, Wiggs was uh, good. You know, he made both his attempts, you know, made both of them. They were good, and uh, I don't think our team ever quit. Uh, you know, to have an opportunity to win that ball game uh, is, is really amazing. You know, when you talk about a game, I've never been in a game where we actually had an opportunity to win a game where at any moment uh, when things went south on us, we could have quit, and they didn't. And, and so uh, this team, you know, just like the Weber game, we had the same opportunity. And so every game, our players have played tremendously hard. Just sometimes they, things don't go your way. You know, it, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just the way it is. You know, we, had, we don't want it to be that way, but we had, uh, we had four fumbles, you know, one interception. Uh, and, uh, you know, for us to, to win a game, we, we might have to play perfect. You know, and we played perfect against uh, Montana State. And uh, Montana State didn't play perfect. You know, before that game, they had four. Uh, they had no turnovers. They had zero turnovers, and then in that game against us, they had four. And so, and I'm sure they were kind of trying to figure out, you know, what the deal was, uh, you know, as to how they had four turnovers. And uh, you know, so I think it's a game of football. You know, I think that uh, you got to get a lot of credit to Prairie View. Prairie View had some really talented football players that played tremendously hard, played very well on the offensive side of the ball. I thought their quarterback played tremendous. And uh, and so it gave him an opportunity to win. Defensively, you mentioned that you know, you thought the D-line played well. Aside from that, what, what on defense have you seen from game film, Coach, that needs to get better? Our team? secondary. I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, it's that's obvious. I mean, you know, my, my wife's not, a, you know, totally a football, you know, 100% football person. She's a great mom. And and she owned a retail store. She could she could uh, own a business and sell clothes, you know, women's clothes, and you know. But football is probably not her deal. And and uh, she kind of said, you know, we need a little, little better, better in the secondary. And so uh, it's not a matter of they're playing hard. It's just we're young. And I mean, we got redshirt freshmen and freshmen back there. And so um, you know, those uh, those are growing pains back there. And so I'd say, uh, you know, secondary and and then. Uh, you know, I thought at times our, our linebackers uh, uh, played really well, and then at times they weren't they weren't aligned properly. And so, 
um, you know, it's a good thing is we know we know where uh, we got to you know scratch what itches, and hopefully we can uh, get that done in an open date. Uh, that was my next question. Does this bye week? Do you ever have a preference, coach, of where your bye week lands? And and if not, is, is this one coming at a pretty good time for your ball club? Or no, uh, no, I don't really care. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, you you could say, well, if we won last week, you know, it's a good time for a bye week. You could say if you lost, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I mean, um, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not, I'm not playing, you know. So, um, it, it uh, you know, I think that the same young people played against Montana State, and so um, you know, we just uh, <clears throat> we we got to get better, and and uh, we got to have a good week of practice. Um, this this team. Um, is, is, is the same team that beat Montana State. And so, you know, the number two team in the country, and uh, we got to hold on to football. And so we got to learn to hold on to football. We got to learn that every time we get in the, in the, in the red zone, the scoring zone, we got to score. And then defensively, we just got to get a little bit better. Uh, with the offense that we have, we don't have to be great. We just need to be good. Your thoughts, uh, obviously, Brady breaking the, the school record and AC as well. Your thoughts on both of those, those players and those records going down? You know, I don't know uh, how long uh, I'll have the opportunity to, to be at SFA, you know, and be the head football coach. But there are certain people that when you are at a program that you'll, you'll always uh, remember and, and always know that that was special to be a part of. And obviously, you know, Brady is one of those guys. Uh, uh, he's had a hard time. I mean, he hasn't I mean, following Jeremy Moses is not easy to do. And, and um, you know, to, to step in there and, and follow him and work hard to be as good as Jeremy, but be himself and not be Jeremy. And knowing that Jeremy's around as a coach, it can't be easy to do. And so, you know, to keep keeping on and keep fighting through some, some hard times over two years, uh, I was probably one of the happiest days of my coaching career was to see him perform like that. I mean, it was just, uh, it was awesome. I mean, it was, uh, you just love that as a coach, you know, and as, I'm a dad too, you know, so uh, I hope that my son had a day like that, you know. I'd like to see him duplicate it you know, seven more times if we could, and, and uh, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, Brady's a special guy. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's a lumberjack, and I'm glad to say that I had the opportunity to coach him and be around him. And I think that uh, uh, he's going to move on uh, after he's done here and be a great coach somewhere and, and do an awesome job with everything he does because he just understands now you can't quit. You just got to keep keeping on. Uh, when everything might be bad, you just keep keeping on. And he did that. And uh, uh, A.T., wow. I mean, uh, guy walked on. And, and – uh, uh, you know, I didn't know who he was through the walk-on process. You know, he's not one of those guys that we actually recruited. I mean, he just showed up and walked on. And he's a special, special young man. I mean, a guy that has a big belief in his faith and a big belief in, in, in his morals and values, and I respect that tremendously. Uh, and to be able to go out and play football the way he played Saturday night, uh, you can just see that he's got a higher power uh, with him every day. And, and a big belief in uh, whatever it is he believes in is great because he shows it.